Well, developing right now in noon, a break in the case after a pastor was caught in the crossfire last month in northwest Miami-Dade. Two people are now in custody. The deadly shooting happening outside a flea market. Yeah, our own crews were reporting on another story when that gunfire broke out. Local 10 News reporter Alex Finney is live to tell us about the two suspects that are now under arrest. Alex? Well, Andrew and Alexis, Miami-Dade police just arresting two of the people connected to that drive-by shooting that happened last month. So I want to go right to them. We have 20-year-old Latavia Bell and 31-year-old Nathaniel Robertson, both of them charged with first-degree murder. And as a matter of fact, Latravia Bell, she just appeared in bond court just a little while ago. It's our understanding that she's being held on no bond. As for Nathaniel Roberson, we know that he was taken to TGK, where he is being held at this hour. Now, according to Miami-Dade police, they confessed to homicide detectives a little bit earlier today as to their involvement in this shooting. And I want to give you a little bit of background here for our viewers that are just joining us on this story. You'll remember that Pastor Gregory Boyd, an innocent bystander, was shot and killed as he was leaving the flea market and mall. This is in northwest Miami-Dade back on September 10th. He was there picking up lunch for his family, and as he was leaving, those bullets went flying. And as you mentioned there at the top, Alexis, one of our news crews was also caught up in all of that commotion while doing a live report. They too, along with others there that day, had to duck for cover. Thankfully, they're all right. But as you can imagine, the Boyd family, however, they've been through so much these past few weeks. And we actually spoke with the pastor's wife a few weeks ago. She gave us some words about her husband. I want you to take a listen to what she told us again. He was a good family man. He taught my kids well. He taught them well. You know, he let, left a good legacy. Okay, and it's also our understanding that Mikal Norman, one of the men listed on that arrest form, is still at large at this hour. We, of course, are going to check in with Miami-Dade police to get just a little bit more information on that. But again, two people connected in this case both of them have been arrested, both being held without bond. We, of course, are going to stay on this for you. I'll be back a little bit later today with another update on this story. For now, live in Miami, Alex Finney, Local 10 News.